Hello there. If you watch this video, I assume that you've already implemented EntryID as an identity provider for your application. And if your users go to a login page, they probably will see a Microsoft login page. And you're here to find out how to change this. Well, let me show you. Before I will start, you first have to know that you need to have a Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 license, or a Microsoft 365 Business Standard license, or a SharePoint Plan 1 license. If you don't have this, then you cannot configure company branding for uh, your workforce tenant. When we go to Entra ID and you go to the left, you can click here on Show More, and then you can find User Experience. If you click on user experience, the company branding tab is opened. Again, if you don't see this, then you probably don't have the correct license to be able to uh, change the company branding. In the company branding tab, you can change the default sign-in experience, or you can change the browser language customizations. And the browser language customizations are the languages that you want to support for your users. For example, I'm Dutch and I would want my uh, users to be able to see the login page in Dutch also, besides uh, seeing it in English. So let's try it out. If I click on uh, add browser language, I can choose a language here. As you can see, it has supported a lot of languages. Okay, so I've put my webcam away so that you can have a more clear view of what is happening here. I've clicked on the button edit default sign in experience and it will get you to this page on the left. And um, I will show you side by side what all these uh, forms are or, and how they relate to the screen on the right. You can change the favicon, which is the icon that is shown here on the tab. In this case, it's a Microsoft icon. You can choose either a background image or a background page color so that you can change the background. If you click on next layout, here you can choose uh, what the layout of your page needs to be. So you can choose full screen background or partial screen background. So this means that it will hover over the side of your screen. You can choose to show a header or not, and you can choose to show a footer or not. The footer is what you can see here, where you see the terms of use button and the privacy and cookies button. You can also upload a custom CSS file. If you click on the header, you can also choose a header logo. If you configure a header on the layout page here, then on the header tab, you can uh, add a header and it will be shown in your login page. On the footer page, you can choose to uh, enable or disable the terms of use and privacy and cookies buttons. And uh, you can set the display text, so you can set another text instead of privacy and cookies. The same for the terms of use. Uh, and you can also configure the URL here to uh, do your privacy and cookies declaration or your terms of use declaration. If we go to the next page, to so the sign in, uh, and here you can configure the banner logo. So here you can put the logo of your own company. The square logo, light team and dark team, is used to represent your organization on the Microsoft uh, Entra web interface and in Windows. You can also configure a username hint text or a sign in page text. The sign in page text uh, appears at the bottom of the sign in page. So if you want, you can add a little bit text here so that your users can have extra information. For example, a legal statement or a phone number or email address of your company that your users can uh, call to or email when they have a problem signing in. At the bottom of this page, you can configure the self-service password reset. You can click to show it or not, and you can also change the URL. This is the destination URL for where users reset their passwords. And these two properties are to change the default display text when resetting your password. Now I will show you how you can do this for a customer tenant in EntraID. Before I show you how to change the company branding of a customer tenant, I want to show you how the default page look, looks like. So this is an example from my previous video, a Blazor WebAssembly project that I have registered in EntraID and I haven't changed the company branding at all. So if I click on the login button, it will open my default login page. So this is the default. There's no header, there's no footer, um, there is no styling whatsoever. It's just a white square with um, the English text to pick an account. So uh, this is before. So now let's change this in Enter ID. So now I'm in my customer tenant. And again, if I go to the identity tab and then user experience, I can choose company branding. 
And here you have the same experiences. So if I click customize, you can choose everything that you want to customize. So let's start by choosing a favicon. I have made a butterfly for this. And I will leave this open because I want to pick a background color. Let's make it a little bit of a light pink. Okay, then we click layout and we can choose a full screen background or a partial screen background. And I will choose to show the header and to show the footer. I can also add a custom CSS. If you want to know how you can make your own custom CSS file to change the layout, there is this uh, template reference guide on the learn.microsoft.com and I will post the link in the description and here they explain uh, with an example page which class names uh, reference to what point in the login page. But now let's go back to Entready. Now I click next and here I can choose a header logo that will be shown in my header. On the next page, I can configure the footer. Let's say I don't want to show the terms of use. In a sign-in form, here I can choose the banner logo that will be shown. And I will just leave this as is. And this is quite of an interesting thing because here you can add custom text. And what is this? Well, if you click on add, you can choose um, text to customize. For example, attributes, attribute collection, sign in, sign up. But if I click uh, sign in, so instead of sign in, something else will be shown. So we can choose sign in and stuff, just as an example. Click add. And now this uh, sign in uh, text name will be changed to something else, to sign in and stuff. So let's review. And click create. So now it has created the default branding. Now let's see how this changed my login experience. So I'll start my Blazor WebAssembly project again. I click login. And now as you can see, my background is the light pink that I chose. You can see here that my uh, logo is updated. Even here at the top, uh, normally if you would open this in a, uh, not in a pop-up window, but in a tab on your browser, then you would see the icon here very in, on the very top uh, left of the screen. Also added here, that's the favicon I was, uh, sh that I've shown you before. And if I click on use another account, you can see that the title has changed to sign in and stuff. So that is like the custom text that you can add in Microsoft Entra for customers. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.